I'm about to show you how to download the Intune application on your iPhone. Before I begin though, I'll go to Settings, General, About, and you can see I'm using software version 12.4.1 on an iPhone XS Max for this video. Maybe your iPhone is an iPhone 8 or 7 or some other model. That's okay, but be sure that the iOS software is current. Okay, step one, power off your iPhone. You need to completely restart it. On the iPhone XS, I click the side button and either volume up or down. And then when I release the buttons, the shutdown screen appears and I just slide to the right to power off the iPhone. Now, on some phones, just press and hold the side button. It used to be called the sleep slash wake button. On some iPhones, that sleep slash wake button is on top of the phone. Again, just press and hold that button and then slide to the right to power off. Okay, turn your iPhone back on and we'll go through step two. Now, for step two, we want to delete any native Cushwake email profile. What does that mean? Well, if you click on the blue envelope icon to check your email, you probably have yours set up as native email. So let's check that out. Click on settings, passwords and accounts. And here you may see more than one account. This iCloud account is my personal account. I don't want to delete that. So if you have a at Cushwake email set up, it probably says exchange, and that's the one I'm going to delete. And now for step three, install the Intune Company Portal application. So if I click on the App Store icon and then click on the Search icon and begin typing Intune Company Portal, I can choose that application. And then next, press on the Get button. Maybe you don't see a Get button. You might see this cloud with a down arrow. Either way, Click on that button and you'll see this progress indicator telling you that the application is downloading. And when it finishes downloading, it will change to read open. So go ahead and press open. And when I swipe left, I can see the Company Portal app is available. So I press on it. And first we need to authenticate to sign in. We need to tell Intune who we are. So for me, I'll use my first name dot last name at cushwake.com. That's my work email address. And that takes me to the Cushman Wakefield sign-in page. And here's where you enter your sign-in password. This is the password that I use every day when I sign into my work computer. And it'll take a moment to show the setup screen and we want to set up our iPhone to access email and Wi-Fi and work applications. So first download the management profile and to do that just click on begin and here you can read some details. When you're done reading just click continue and then press continue again to download the management profile. I'm clicking on allow and once it downloads I can click on close. Now you should see a little green check mark indicating success. So the next step is to install the management profile. So again I'm just going to click continue and here is where we need to jump outside of Intune and go into the iPhone settings. So from the home screen I'm going to click on General, and then under General, I'm choosing Profile. And here I press on Management Profile, and click on Install. 
and here I'm entering my iPhone's password and click on install and that brings up this warning screen on the top right I click on install again and then this pop-up box I just click on trust and on the top right of the screen you can see it says done so now I'm going back to the Intune Company Portal app. So I'm going to navigate back to the main screen of my iPhone and then find the Intune Company Portal app. And here it's asking me, did you install the profile? So I click on yes, I installed the profile. And again, I have a green check mark indicating success. So finally, I just need to update the device settings. And to do that, I'll just click on continue. And then I need to choose whether this is a corporate device or my own personal iPhone. Here I click on continue and I'm going to confirm everything. And right here, Intune is suggesting to me that I download and install Microsoft Outlook. So I'm going to click on install here and that's step number four. Install Microsoft Outlook. And once Outlook is installed I'm pressing done. And here's a screen suggesting that I get notifications. I'll press OK and choose allow. Now when I go to my home screen on my iPhone I can see that Outlook is installing on my phone. It may take a few minutes or more to install. Now, when I click on the Company Portal app, you may see this, pending. And that just means that Outlook is still going through the entire download process. Now, once it is fully downloaded, I can click on the Outlook icon. And here's a screen asking me if I want to add an additional account. I'm going to skip that. I just click on skip because right now I'm adding my Cushwake account. And my work account is my first name dot last name at cushwake.com. So just enter your usual work email address. And then I click on add account. And now I need to authenticate using my usual logon password. And here Outlook is asking me if I want to add another account. And I'm just going to choose maybe later. And I can swipe through the brief instructions. I see I have a focused inbox, a calendar, and I can search my messages, contacts, or files. And here's my inbox. Here I can choose to enable mail notifications, and I can always change this later. So now you probably want to sync your contacts. So to do that, open Outlook, and here you press on the top left icon. For me, it's my profile picture. It might be your initials if you don't have a picture in the system yet. And so when I press on this settings icon at the bottom left, I can go in and choose my at Cushwake email account. And down here where it says save contacts, I'm going to slide that from off to on and then just press save to my iPhone and then just click OK and your iPhone will start saving your Outlook contacts and you'll see this saving contacts indicator. When I synced my contacts it took about five or ten minutes so be patient and once those contacts sync to your iPhone you have finished the process. You've installed Intune and Microsoft Outlook on your iPhone.